So, so over here just said make me laugh. I'm a fat guy and I made it through a small hole. Ha ha! I'm just kidding. <laughs> ha! How's everybody doing today? Um, so Papa Larry was talking about that uh, Goliath diesel powered dildo. And um, the shit exists. And how I know it exists is uh, he called me the one night. And he's like, hey Rob, what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, playing some video games. Um, can, uh, can I borrow uh, some diesel? I'm like, but your car isn't diesel. He's like, I know. Okay, your truck isn't diesel. I know, but I need it. Okay, I'm gonna bring it, but you're gonna have to show me why the fuck you need diesel. Let me tell you what, that son of a bitch comes up with this motherfucker, I thought I was screwed. I felt the thing with these are I'm out. Fuck that shit. I mean, dating is tough at 40, but no, I ain't going that way. Hell no! I, I, like, to, I like to say it with my doctor's finger, my ass is a virgin. But yes, you know, dating when you're older is, is tough, because like, women... You are wonderful people, but when the fuck did Tinder get, get, get bought up by eHarmony, okay? Like, Tinder was to call up and say, hey, you wanna hook up? I wanna hook up, let's hook up. Let's go have some fun, not kick. So I've got two kids, I need a daddy for them. Mine is, you know, not paying his child support, will you be in? No! I just wanna hang out, have a few drinks, go for a car ride. Maybe you shift my gears while I shift yours. <laughs> you know? But looking at sex toys nowadays, it's like, holy shit! Like they've got five to twenty-five different functions! I got like two. One, two, and then the finale, right? Guys used to have that, that's it. We had we had coming. That was our thing. It was like, yeah! You know what? You can't get any more than that. Guess what? They have fucking toys to come now. Yeah, they sure do. And they come in different flavors. Come in like strawberry cream. They come in vanilla crunch. Don't ask me how they get the crunch in there. Then they come out with Cinnabon. How the fuck am I gonna compete with Cinnabon? Like there's only so much pineapple I can eat. Like fuck you. Cinnabon. Here's me dip my dick in caramel before the day. Just, okay, let's try this. Ah, damn it. Oh man. Okay, well we'll do a left turn here since since I know some people aren't all into the dirty side of it. I mean, okay, fine. Fuck you guys. I'm just kidding. So with comedy we travel, and when we travel we we, we have a good time. I thought I moved to the most redneck part of Alberta. I truly did. Red deer, redneck, you think? The most, yeah, yeah, I'll get her done, boy! I did a show in Sundry. And I found out right quick that I was not from the most redneck part, because driving in, welcome to Sundry. You can only marry if you're family. I'm like, oh. Oh, where am I going with this one? I swear to God, I saw a Ku Klux Klan fucking on a side of the booth as you drove into the motherfucker. Right? So, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. So, as we get to the show, we're met by this really nice French guy. And he was a nice guy, don't get me wrong. And, uh, he's like, hello, are you the comics? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're the comics. I was told you were staying in the cabin. Yeah, yeah, we're staying in the cabin. Well, the cabin has a TP. If you want to stay in the TP, you can. Are you going crawling? Motherfucker, did you just ask the only native here if he wants to stay in the motherfucking TP? No, I'm not. I just decided to say that, motherfucker. I spit in a tube like two months ago and said I was 2% native, yes. I'm just doing it for fun. <laughs> Shit. Amish native, that's why I grew it, okay? But 
But yes, I did stay on the team because TV was nice, okay? Oh. These guys here remind me of when we stayed at the Comfort Inn where we got one room and four guys and one guy walked out wondering what the fuck his sexuality is. I wonder which one of those is going to be in that group. You know, who's going to wonder what the pillows were that night? Sponsored by Durex. <laughs> to God, when I got married, my dick died. As I was signing the fucking divorce papers. Uh, let's wake it up. It's alive! I swear, when I finally spoke Robert Crane on my divorce papers, motherfucking thing woke up. And now I'm like, great! Let's go for a time of my life! And then I'm like, I'm 40. So either it's a bunch of... I'm kind of at that age where it's either MILF or GILF. Or lots of women with really, really bad daddy issues. And it's kind of weird when you go to a date and she's dressed up like a toddler. And it's, uh, how far do you want to go with this? Do you go in or do you go, okay, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm just gonna go watch the porno. Yes, 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 that's, that's where you saw me, it was my porno and my OnlyFans, right? Yes, yes. Take off your socks! <laughs> oh, hey, sorry, uh, wrong show. I mean, if you slap them right, like, you know, give them a round hump kick, maybe, like, you know, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Teach them a, teach them a lesson. Anyways. So, are we having a good time so far? Yeah. yeah. Who saw Ron Jossel before? No? Has anybody seen any videos of his? Yes! Okay, I got to perform with Ron Dawson once before, and he's an amazing guy. He is a hard-working motherfucker. And I'm kind of stealing Clint's job right now, but you know what, it's whatever. Um, Ron Dawson's an amazing comic. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy as much as we do with him. Um, by the way, the party is going to be in room 1304. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for listening. New rule! Keep going for a crawl, everybody. How's it going? <laughs>